Welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of It's Just Business. I'm your host, Jonah Barnes Moore, aka Busy J, and this is my co host, who's also my mother. I'm Ina Barnes, aka Busy E. Busy E switched it up this time. She didn't do her thing, so just let her know if you like it or not. If the you dramatic like this one better. Yeah, if you like the dramatic quality. It doesn't matter what they like. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm kidding. That was a bad joke. Well, that, well that's good to <laughs> I, Of course it matters. It to matters know. to me. I'm just saying I just like the tr- dramatic pause. And if people don't like it, it's going to make me sad. I but know. You're trying to be larger than life, like the hip-hop rappers. You know, oh, you got, I understand. No, I I'm get just it. trying to live my truth. And living your best life. Living <laughs> my best life. And living your best <laughs> life. Living my best life. Okay. Ain't going back and forth with y'all. But anyway... <laughs> Anyway, happy Friday. It's a Friday. Happy if you guys Friday. Yeah, tell. I'm very happy today. We're, it's a good we're, day. we're very happy. The sun's shining, you know, we're doing yeah. our thing. Sunshine, blue happy skies. Happy, you know, another day of doing something that we enjoy yeah. doing. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you're enjoying your Friday. We've got something yeah. that's very interesting for you, for everybody. That's is another frontier that's going to change the world. Because yes. here at JBM Consultants, we're obviously about innovation, providing sustainable innovation solutions for you. But this is a topic that we want to discuss because everybody hears about it and there's a lot of bait philosophically about it too. So what we are going to talk about today is if you haven't already, well, if you can read this, it's artificial intelligence. It says Intel, but we're talking about artificial intelligence today, what it is, what industries, well, what examples of how it's being used in business, and then what that kind of means for you as either a business owner or a consumer, right? We're going to dive into how does this affect you? How does this affect your day-to-day? What should you be looking out for? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know what artificial intelligence is, is we are going to get into that right now. So artificial intelligence is simply defined as a machine that can perform tasks that are characteristic of human intelligence, right? So us as human beings, what separates us, separates us from animals is that we're intelligence. We have creativity. We can build things. We can sense emotions. You know, even though some animals like close to us, like the ape and the monkey, do have some form of intelligence. Ours is just one level up. We're level up. I like to think so. But um, so intelligence um, can be a general, right? So it doesn't have to be necessarily narrow, right? So if you want to think about the difference between general intelligence and narrow intelligence is like general is like you having an overall intelligence of how an industry works, right? And narrow intelligence will be like, I know exactly um, how to code, um, you know, software for my industry, you know? So think of that as a broad scale is general intelligence and then a small scale really specified is narrow intelligence. And so those are the kind of two different general, I mean, two different artificial intelligences intelligence categories there we go artificial intelligence categories that are out there I just, the irony that you can't that you're tripping up on intelligence is not missed on me that's yeah. hilarious to me yeah that is don't you, you find the irony in that don't you i guess i don't know the, because the word is intelligent you're right or intelligence intelligence and yeah. you weren't been you weren't intelligent enough to get there. Oh, that's, oh, that's oh. I'm not intelligent enough to figure that out. <laughs> it took out. you a minute to get oh, there. Okay. That's that's all. I see how it is. It's all good. It's a Friday. Yeah, we, it, we get, it's, it's, we get to, it's, it's free Friday. Good. We get to be free on Friday. Yeah, it's all good. She insulted my time. I no, no, no. Yeah, she no, did. She I wasn't said you weren't smart enough to. to figure out which word to use. Uh, you, that's you, what she you just were, said. The fact that you were tripping up on intelligence is uh, I'm, I've made my point. And the, see, Whatever. the fact that you're not anyway. getting it also. No, I get it. I just don't like it. There's oh, a difference. Okay. Oh, there's a okay. difference. Okay. Anyway, there's two different categories of artificial intelligence, which is general and narrow, right? General right. being all encompassing, narrow being really specified, right? right. So, okay. an example of a narrow intelligence would be Google's AlphaGo. So, if you haven't heard about Google's AlphaGo, Google it. <laughs> 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 you know, but it's pretty much an artificial intelligence program that was. Um, designed to play the old Chinese game Go. And it's a real strategic game and it has like, it's like a board and you move the black and white pieces. It's a lot like chess. I forget what the ultimate goal of the game is, but anyway. To win. Yeah. <laughs> of any game is to win. Thank you for that. And Captain I didn't need obvious. artificial intelligence yes. to figure that out. <laughs> no, you didn't. But anyway, <laughs> over here, she's over here. She's feeling some type of way, living her best life today, y'all. I am. Yeah, but anyway, Alpha Go. Um, 
narrow artificial intelligence was designed to play a game. That was the only thing it was designed to do. And it got so good that it actually beat a Chinese master at the game. So that shows you kind of the power of artificial intelligence. Now, a lot of people also hear the term machine learning, right? So we want to know what's the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning. Well, machine learning is a means to achieve artificial intelligence, right? So machine learning is kind of in the name, but I'll give you a proper definition. So machine learning is simply a way of achieving AI. So how they do that is machine learning. So a machine is pretty much teaching itself. And the method, there's different methods for a machine to teach itself to learn human intelligence. That's mm -hmm. what machine learning is, right? Mm -hmm. And so... And it says here you can get a, an artificial intelligence without using machine learning, but this would require building millions of lines right. of codes with complex rules and decision trees. Exactly. So it's like it's better to let the machine learn on its own than you have to write in all right. the code. Exactly. Right, exactly. So writing all the code would be like writing every single possible scenario within mm -hmm. whatever you're trying to get your AI to do, writing every single scenario that's possible. You have to code that. But with machine learning, you actually do an algorithm and feed the machine or the system data and have the algorithm run through the data so that it's learning on its own as opposed to you actually having to code every single situ uh, situation that it comes across. Right. So that's what machine learning is. So just to do a brief recap, machine learning is just a means to achieve artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence is literally making the machine um, have human intelligence. Yeah, uh -huh. human characteristics of intelligence. Right. right? <laughs> and so now we're going to take that deeper to the more the frontier, which is deep learning, right? Deep learning. So deep learning slash neural network. So this obviously is a method of machine learning. So you can see it's kind of a hierarchy. They feed into each other. Deep learning is a method to achieve machine learning. Machine learning is a method to achieve artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Now, deep learning is very interesting, right? So it's one of many approaches to machine learning. Other approaches include, like my mother said, decision tree learning, there's inductive logic programming, clustering, reinform reinforcement learning, such as like Pavlov's dog and the positive and negative reinforcement, and then the Bayesian networks and the, among other networks. But deep learning was really inspired by the human brain, right? So the human brain has, a, we're, there's a bunch of neurons and these neurons fire constantly. And that's how we have our short-term memories, our long-term memories, what sparks all the emotions in our brain. It's literally these neural networks that are designed to hold memories, hold data, and then they fire amongst stimuli. So our senses, obviously, would be our sensory system. Right. So artificial neural networks, ANNs. Yes, ANNs. They're algorithms that mimic the biological structure of the brain. So that way, we have, so us as human beings, we can have certain stimuli that we see, right? We can see something and it'll spark a memory that may have nothing to do with that object. Right. So that's the concept between artificial neural networks is so that you, we can pull our intelligence from other sources where concepts may apply, right? So, for example, like if I'm playing football, I might have some um, memories of me playing basketball that can help me be better at um, playing football, if that makes sense, right? So I'm pulling from that, from that different neurological network and using some piece of data or information that can help me play football yeah. a little better. It's all running and balls and yeah, whatever. teams. And <laughs> whatever. Anyway, it's based off the brain. The brain pulls from many different data sources and tries to create intelligence and get better understanding through that way. Right. And so that's what pretty much um, is being coded and made through algorithms, right? That's what <laughs> artificial intelligence is. We're trying to solve problems automatically and using and basically being able to save us a lot of time from learning. Now, that's one of the biggest, uh, you know, um, value propositions for artificial intelligence is that it can do things in a time that we simply couldn't. Like, um, for example, there's this one, um, actually, let's just hop right into it. There's okay. the, so there's these really outstanding um, companies that are using artificical intelligence, right? Fascinating. This, now this is fascinating. This is really stuff. fascinating stuff. Fascinating stuff. Yeah. I'm going to put the um, article under this video 
on my YouTube page, and I'm also going to put it on the Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff, so you guys can see the five different companies that are changing the way we live by using AI. It's a part of an NVIDIA docu series of I Am AI, which is really interesting. We just watched a few episodes. We're probably going to watch the whole thing. Yeah. It's very, very cool to see how AI is being used. Now, back to the value proposition, right? So the value proposition obviously is that it saves saves time. Also. Um, a quick side note before I hop into this, AlphaGo, what I mentioned briefly about Google, mm -hmm. their machine basically just kept running and, and running a simulation of the game over and over and over and over and over until it became so good that, because it was playing itself. So mm -hmm. that's how it developed all the skills and became sort of a master at the game. Right. And it could do this in about 20 hours, it became a master of the game. So think about how long it would take a human being to actually master the Chinese the game of Go, the Chinese game Go. It would take longer than 20 hours. It would yeah. probably take months, days, years, years. to yeah. just, you know, finally figure out the strategies that you need to actually be successful and be considered a master. But because AI uses a computer, it can process things at a faster rate that simply our brains can't handle. So that's one value proposition of artificial intelligence, and that's why it's becoming so mainstreamed and utilized in business, right? right. So all Always think of artificial intelligence as a tool. And as you see here, all these different companies and these different industries are using AI in some form of fashion. So it's really a tool for you to use in order to create value for you or your business or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, right? So back to the original, oh, that took a long way to get here. Oh, no. um, the original uh, um, company that used this, and this is a key example of value proposition for time, is that this company called Iceberg, they use AI to capture, visualize, and analyze game data, giving hockey coaches and their players faster insights to improve performance and plays. So you guys definitely go check this out, watch the video. I wish I could show you this on here, but I can't because I don't have the technology yet, but I will. And um, it's pretty much, they set up these cameras around this ice hockey rink, right? And then, ow, ow, something just felt like it bit me right now. Oh my God. Anyway, that hurt. Uh, I don't know what that was. I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. I'm probably going to cut that out. But anyway, so Iceberg uses AI to capture, visualize, and analyze game data, giving hockey coaches and their players faster insights to improve performance in place. So they set up all these cameras around this hockey rink, right? And it's literally sensing the their, alg their software senses all the data that's going on, and then it spits out stats like probabilities to score, what formations that you have that you're likely to score. It'll give you the passing stats, the um, shots on goal, shots off goal, right? It'll give you um, everything that you need to know to make a better informed decision when you're in a game time solution. Now, this, all this can take place. They can get this done in about 10 hours, right? Through their system, 10 hours. The next day as a coach, say you want to practice and make some tweaks, it'll give you that information that you need like okay well when this player passes it to this player we have a 90 percent chance of scoring right so now you can set up plays like this or when the, we see this defense this is when this player is shining this is when that player will shine right and so, i think it was interesting too what they if i'm not mistaken what they were saying too was that it's like you can have two different coaches who look at the exact same information that's been brought yeah. forward through this ai and have different ideas about what they just saw Exactly. You know about, and so then they set their own strategy. Exactly. So it doesn't take the need for the coaches out of it. It just gives the need, the coaches in, more informed decisions, enhanced yeah. tools, and a real deeper, deeper, deeper dive into what's happening in every play gotcha. and every second of yeah, the game. Exactly, and that's what kind of helps them establish, you know, their competitive advantage, yeah. right? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, coaches will have different philosophies on how they how they want to play, how they should score, you know, mm -hmm. and so they can see the same thing but tweak it to where their philosophy sees fit and how they want their team to be and what assets they have on their team. Right. So that was just one use. And that's, re that's really big because they were, the iceberg was talking about that they want to go into soccer and lacrosse to do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. You know? So that's really interesting. And that's how you, that, so that's one major use case for a artificial well, intelligence. My personal, sports. personal favorite is, mm. and it's no surprise, is it's the one that was used by, I think yeah. it's, was it L'Oreal? Mm hmm. And um, basically, they can literally have, I think it's an app. They have this thing where they can look at you. It's basically like your phone or the app is like a mirror. And it can literally show you what your hair would look like in different colors. Yeah, that's pretty Because cool. historically, what has, has had 
to happen is that you have to go in there, tell your stylist what you want, and then you go for it, and then you know you're kind of stuck with it like if you it, don't yeah. like it. <laughs> but this, and, and not only so, it, you, it looks at it. It's literally the the um, artificial intelligence is literally counting the hairs on your head, practically. Mm. So they get a real, authentic, real um, image of you with that with your hair, and then there's like a scale of different colors, and mm. so you just move it along the scale, and it and it just literally changes the hair color. Yeah, and it's and not the, tacky like the Snapchat filters. Oh that you've no, seen. It's, it's this. It looks legit. like you. Like, that's yeah. actually your hair color, real in real time. It's very cool. Mm. It's very cool, and then you can say to your stylist, "I want this color," and then yeah. you know, based on the artificial intelligence, it they should come do out that, that way. Yeah, and, they, and the video on the um, site explains how. They do and how they use the artificial intelligence to, with all the imaging and stuff. But it's really cool because now they're trying to progress and actually allowing you to try different L'Oreal products, right? So yeah. now you can see like a blush or like a lipstick or something on your lips nice. or whatever. You know, that's what their that's what their goal is to get to. Mm -hmm. So you can see how these products would look before you purchase them. You know, so that's really that's really cool because everybody wants to like pretty much see what they would look like. You know, right. before they try try a product. Right. So, and for me, with the exception of the hair, because the one that is one thing that I'll never try to get at home. But if I can look on an application and see what exactly this makeup will look like on my face, oh, I yeah. can order it online. I don't have to go to this. I don't people, have to go to the Mac counter. People spending money like the, crazy. Once you yeah. see it, like all in place, like oh man, I bet. Yeah. I bet they, that's so. That's one. That's in the retail industry. And mm -hmm. just a quick side note: How L'Oreal was able to do this, they required an AI company called Modi Modi Face. And so that's the app that um, is, po is powered by L'Oreal now because mm -hmm. they purchased that company. Mm -hmm. So that's another um, one. This is also a really interesting one. Yes. Um, agriculture, right? So yeah. there was a, there's this machine, y'all, <laughs> that rolls down the lines and literally picks out the good strawberries. It picks out the, the right. ripe strawberries. Not the. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just like grab them all. It's like literally looking, it analyzing, picks and picks out the ripest ones, and, and then, then it and then puts them picks where, it the, where it needs to go. Right. Right. So, so literally, no, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is so, so exciting. Yeah. So it's literally, you know, picking. Not just like, oh, we're gonna extract all of them and then sort them. No, it's literally like looking, scanning, as if there's a set of eyes and reaching out, picking them, reaching out, picking them, reaching out, picking mm -hmm. them, waiting until it's ripe. Mm -hmm. And it literally has the intelligence to see when a strawberry is ripe, when it's prime, because they pretty much put all that data in there with all those images mm -hmm. to make sure that this algorithm has been programmed to pick the ripest strawberries. Right. Right. And that is simply amazing because they're saying that if you imagine how you don't have to have so many workers anymore, right? You can just literally have this thing rolling down Picking out, picking out your, you know, um, strawberries, right. and so and it does multiple rows at a yeah, time. Yeah, and it's yeah, oh yeah, it's it like, like I think it said yeah. three or four rows multiple at one rows time. At a time. Yeah, and it's just rolling down, picking, picking, mm -hmm. picking. So it's like this is crazy, especially if you like you're like a farmer and you can't afford to actually hire anybody. If you just mm -hmm. invest in, pretty, I'm sure they'll allow you to finance this one machine. I would hope so, right? And then you have all this land is literally picking everything for mm -hmm. you and making. And, yeah. more and the way the machine works is it, it it literally picks the strawberry, it cuts it, yeah. it cuts it, mm -hmm. it picks it like this, and then it moves it over. So the hum so human beings never have to touch those strawberries right. at all. Right. There's no human contact with the strawberries because all mm -hmm. of this is mechani mechanized. And mm -hmm. so um, it's really, it's, it's really cool, it's you guys. Really fascinating. Definitely, I'm, I'm for sure gonna post this um, article it's on Forbes, Forbes.com. But the docu series is by Nvidia. Um, and it's called the I Am AI docu series. Mm -hmm. Definitely go check that out. Um, it has really amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, another one is obviously um, trucks, right? Automated vehicles. Now this truck was really driving itself. It was crazy. Was had, it like eighteen wheeler? Yeah, it was, was like a like giant a eighteen wheeler, huge, right? Huge truck. So truck manufacturer uh, Paccar, P A C C A R, has leveraged AI to build autonomous commercial trucks boosting productivity and driver safety especially on long drives and dangerous roads yeah because we've all been driving down the 10 or driving down the five. the five and have seen these trucks literally swerving on on and off the road yeah and they'll put their blinkers on when they're too tired going like 30 miles per hour right 
this automated vehicle will actually help it be way more safer for these drivers, right? right? And it's crazy because if you watch the video, the truck is literally driving itself. Like, it's driving itself. and the guy is sitting there mm-hmm. get, having an interview, and then you see the wheel like actually turning, mm-hmm. and it's going on this windy road. So, auto, automated vehicle is another one that's actually on the forefront. Right. So, and I had said when they, when I was listening, as so we we were watching this, I was listening. I said, well, the day that they start having automated drive, automated vehicles on the road, that's the day I get off the road. So I'm not going to drive anymore. But as I was continuing to listen, one of the things that the person was saying was he said, you know, we've had autopilot on airplanes for years, but right. you still look in the cockpit and there's two there's two pilots sitting in there. Right. So it's not like you lose the net need for the driver. Exactly. The driver's still in the cabin of the truck, mm-hmm. but he's the the truck is driving itself. Same, exactly. same thing same like with Same exact airplanes. scenario. Which, yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of, we. I guess we can transfer into this um, conversation now, is that with artificial intelligence, obviously, is the big conversation of what will happen to, you know, humans and, our, and their jobs, right? right? Because if all this automation course. keeps coming in, then companies naturally like to cut costs. What is it going to mean for me, the person in the labor force, right? right? And so you as a business owner has to actually think of this is now kind of corporate social responsibility, right? Am I going to be one of those companies that is all about cutting costs, all about automation and forgetting about the human uh, workforce and making sure that we just have the cheapest and most efficient way to solve up our problem and produce our product? Mm-hmm. Or are we actually going to try to figure out a way to incorporate AI and also have people working together Mm -hmm. to make sure that there's that we stimulate the economy, that people actually have money in their uh, pockets to spend. Yeah, that people live, you know, people have jobs, you know. Exactly. And so this is where it goes down to this whole political debate about universal income and how are people's jobs going to be protected? What's the future really going to look like? Yeah. Are people, it is like the, you know, there's conspiracies about that because AI, all the people at the top, will, it will farther, it will further the segregation between the the richest yeah. people and the poorest people yeah. and that. The rich we'll get have, richer and the poor get yeah, poorer. We'll yeah, we'll have access to nothing because we won't work and the rich won't give any access to people, right? Okay. And so this, these are the things that you have to consider when you're talking about artificial mm-hmm. intelligence. Right. Now, me personally, I think that if with AI, people will naturally be forced to become more creative and more innovative, right? And this, and people may think this is all utopian, but really think about it though, right? If universal income came into play, people weren't, uh, you know, getting a job was way harder because there's automation. People are going to be forced to get creative. How can I create value in today's society, even though there's artificial intelligence? Mm-hmm. What hasn't been thought of that I can think of? That's very, How, that's very trickle down. Yeah, yeah, it, it a, is. It's but, a little trickle down to me. I mean, because, you know, because when you think about, you're talking about universal income. Mm-hmm. So everybody's getting income. Everybody's getting a check. Some people are going to say, "This is enough. I don't need to be creative. I can live on this. I'm good." They right, may or may but, not become creative. You no, know, but I'm saying universal income. Well, they're going to have to find purpose in their life or, or something. You're not just going to sit there and be like, oh, I got income. Like, no, you're going to do something. You're going to find something that you're passionate about. And you're also, the reason why universal income that is going to have to. I know, but, but seriously, though, think about it. What are you going to do? Like, you're just going to sit here and go to the movies i don't have to go to movies that's right amazon will stream movies and exactly like so like seriously think about what the future what are you going to do you're going to be people are going to try to find purpose in their lives so they're going to try to make something meaningful right out of like i like it's hard for me to see any other way unless people just really don't want purpose in their lives but then it's like people will want to travel people want to learn how to do art people want to small things play the piano i want to be a movie buff i want to watch every single movie ever possible right you know Think these things are going to happen, yeah. you know, and then obviously you're going to have the people that may not, may just not want anything, Maybe they don't you care. know, they don't care right. about anything. But I think, but I do agree with you on the one hand, people who do, who people who, most people will find some purpose, they will, right. and there will be a lot of different creative innovations in the future that yeah. we'll see oh, as absolutely. a result, yeah. if in fact we get here, you mm. know, when we get here, because I think it's, yeah. it, I think it's kind yeah. of a matter of time, Yeah. but yeah. yeah, but I think, I do believe that we're, that we'll start seeing a lot of things that never existed before in nature that are very creative because of yeah. this. Yeah, and It'll, especially yeah. like my, the reason why I'm so optimistic is because of children, right? Children are the most creative beings on the planet. Their imaginations stretch far beyond, you know, what we as adults, functioning adults, 
I can see, right? Yeah. So if you give a kid all of these little tools and they can understand more, there's nothing that I can't create. Right. Imagine them growing yeah. up in a, in a society where there's like, oh, there's nothing I can't create. There's right. nothing I, I can't. The they can't. innovations and the creativity yeah. that will come, it will just be so natural Amazing. because yeah. of the technology that's available today. It'll be in their DNA. They'll right. be creative and innovative. Now, what I do think that, I, now I don't think the world will be peaceful. Right. I think there will be people that are like, ooh, I can, you know, I can be become the best yeah. criminal ever because I have artificial intelligence on my side. And there now will I be can, those people. you know, exactly. So there it's going to be, it, I'm not people. saying it'll be peace. I'm just saying it'll be a really creative Interesting people. And, time and, yeah, and yeah. I think the intelligence will grow because of yeah. it, because people will have access to all of these things and the create, it'll prosper. But let us know what you guys think. This yeah. is just me thinking. Um, obviously, you have a different view, um, but that's all. It's all good. It's all love here. But it's all love here. You know, I just like thinking I'm right all the time. Everybody well, knows. But anyway. Well, people who think that they're right all the time are irritating to those of it's us like, who are. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> But you see, it's like it's like in Get Rich or Die Trying. And Ter- Terrence Howard was like, "When I write, when I'm right, I'm right. I knew I was right. Even when I was wrong, I, I know was- I'm right because I knew there was a chance I could be wrong." That's me. That's me. Yeah. See, it, it makes sense. I don't think I've seen that movie. You haven't, so you I haven't seen it. Get Rich or well, It's a hood know, classic. I'm not. Do you from follow the Fifty Cent on on? You live okay. We won't go go down that path. But have you seen? Is this, I live in the hood. No, you don't live in the hood. Oh, okay. No, but I'm just saying that you've been running the streets of L.A. for who knows how long, and who knows where you've been at. You know. That's my son talking about his mother. <laughs> I raised this. This is my handiwork. I'm just keeping it 100. We we from the streets. Sometimes of LA. you can. You need to keep it 95. Who's your favorite rapper? Snoop Dogg. All right, then there we go. That's all you need to know. Anyway. Um, let us know what you, know you guys think. You know he just think. put out a gospel album, he right? He did. He did. He also put out a reggae album. He's put out a lot of different He's stuff. He's very I know. What's your favorite song? It's not off that gospel album. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's not off that gospel album. I haven't even heard don't, the gospel album. Don't, yeah, don't even try to play. Ooh, don't even that's try to funny. Play. You got me there. You just yeah. okay. All right. All right. Then. Anyway. Anyway, you guys. Join in on the conversation about yeah. artificial <laughs> intelligence. Whoa, whoa. That's our dog, my that's dog, Bushka. Bushka. Whoa, chill, yeah. Bush. She was going to show it one way or yeah. another on this video. Yeah, why are you working? Oh, Here it's we probably, go. It's probably one of the things anyway, that were happening today. The I house. think she, yeah, I think she's trying to get us to get off. So anyway, if you have any say in this artificial intelligence conversation, please hit us up yeah. on Twitter. I'm at BusyJ, B-U-S-Y underscore J-A-Y-Y, two Y's. Just follow the J and that's me. You can also reach my mother. Reach out to her. I'm at busy underscore EDB on Twitter. At, I'm at busy yeah. <laughs> underscore EDB. Busy E. That's how you get a hold of her. And always visit jbmconsultants.org. Our innovation is our thing. Sustainable innovation solutions is what we provide to you and your business. But we don't just stop there. We have a wide range of services, we right? We do. We, we have, have great an service. innovation strategy development program mm-hmm. for you and your business. If you're looking to innovate, if you're thinking, how can I incorporate AI into my business? Come have a conversation with us, right? We also have basic innovation workshops that can cater to your business. We also have a basic cryptocurrency workshop if you don't know what that is because that's a major innovation that's going to go mainstream. So you need to know about that. We have a basic cryptocurrency workshop for you. I also offer a cryptocurrency course at CryptoCentral, C-R-Y-P-T-O. S E N T I A L dot teachable, teach A B L E dot com. You can reach out to me there or you can sign up for the course. It's about the price of a haircut. Follow the J and that's how you know it's us. We also have career coaching services. So if you're looking to secure your bag, you're looking to make yourself more valuable in today's workforce, reach out to us. We got you. We have career coaching services. We also have a 90 day career coaching program, which is the hands on actionable steps, how to get you to pivot and go where you want to go in your career, whether you want to go further in your career or whether you want to change careers. We got you covered. It's a 90 day program. You You will love that. We also have talent acquisition services for any size business, startup, small business, big business, large business. If you're looking to acquire more people, acquire good people, acquire people that are innovative, acquire people that can implement AI and cryptocurrency into your company, reach out to us. We got you covered on that. 
And if you don't want one offs, if you just want uh, to have us on call, we do have exclusive membership program where you get a certain package depending on what your needs are. And then we have, you can have us on call throughout the year or throughout the month, whichever one you subscribe to. So make sure you check out jbmconsultants.org and look at the packages that we offer. And before my mother cuts me off and say, don't forget, what do we have? Oh yes, we got merchandise. We got the, the JBM merch. Consultants merchandise. I love our merch. Hot off the press. You're gonna love it. Go I check it out. We merch. got t-shirts, we got hats. There's more to come. I'm actually in the midst of designing It's Just Business. It's oh, great. The, the actual podcast, It's Just Business Clothing. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be really dope. I want to make it perfect. I want to make it innovative. It yes. has to be creative. It has to encompass being, what being an innovator is. It has to encompass sustainable wealth and prosperity for businesses and people because that's our mission yes. through innovation, education, and facilitation. So okay. please stay tuned for that. And always keep watching our podcast. We need your support. We, we need, need your, your views. Support. And you know what we talk. We, we giving up game up here. You know, you know that this there's something in this podcast in our series of podcasts that you can use to help you invest in yourself and make a better life for yourself so always stay tuned yeah. always keep watching tell your friends to check us out tell your friends share the videos on social media do what you got to do to help us spread the word because yes. you know you know you know the truth when you hear it now we also have special guests coming up yes. real soon We're gonna so have stay in tuned guests. for that in studio guests yes. dropping some more knowledge and game for you guys yes. outside of our two minds because because it's good to get a wide yeah. perspective on the topics that we cover. So we want to thank you guys for tuning thank in. Thank you. Thank you. It's Friday. We're feeling good. Obviously, we are up here having a good time. Yeah. You know, it's honestly just a blessing to be in business with my mother. It's a blessing. And so I'm just grateful. I'm happy. I'm excited. Me too. I'm doing something that makes me happy. So you guys continue to support me and we can continue to grow together. All right? All right. So don't forget, check out jbmconsultants.org and don't forget to chime in on this conversation. Yeah. This is a great conversation. This is the future we're talking about here. You have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. These are conversations you need to have. Yes. These are things you need to chew on so you can make better informed yes. decisions so definitely reach out to us come debate us if you'd like we welcome it we want to create the dialogue because at the end of the day it's not personal for us we just do our thing we just up here giving you games right. so it's not personal if you take it personal you need to get out your feelings because it's not personal it's, it's just, just business. business thank you guys take care